a janky do thanky. All right, so we're back here with the uh, toilet that I've picked off the road Friday, brought it in today, Sunday, and uh, fortunately, I'll pop in some of the footage. It looks like the bolts were sort of a little worse off than I thought. They're pretty seized up. In addition to that, there's a extra separate, it looks like there's either a bolt or some sort of metal washer in here, which I usually don't see. Usually it's just a bolt on the bottom and then um, the sort of screw there, um, flathead screw thread in the top. So, um, if I had a reciprocating saw or even possibly uh, the right size um, right size socket on a screw gun, maybe I could take that off, but don't have those things right now, so I think the next option might be a hacksaw, which I've had to do before, and it isn't too fun, but you can usually get your blade in there well enough to cut the um, thread off, and then the bolt will just usually fall off. Now, if there's an extra bolt here, or at least even a washer, it's more metal to cut through, and um, it's not guaranteed that it'll just fall out. I might have to still do some um, playing with it, but hopefully the whole thing just cuts through and it comes out from both sides that we can take the tank off. Before I do that, first thing I want to do is take the seat off because I think to get my saw blade in here and have a bit just not something going on in the way there, uh, I'll take the seat off. So that's usually pretty simple, just little sort of plastic um, nut and bolt configuration that comes off pretty easy. So we're going to take the seat off and then might have to, uh, just because I'm janky and impatient, take the hacksaw and cut through both of these metal bolts to get the tank off of the uh, bolt. So we're going to see if we can get some of that done. Uh, GoPro's at 33 minutes, so that's how long it took me. Uh, I'm sweating profusely. The toilet is, as you can see, just a mess. But important thing is, I got it off uh, through an archaic method of hammering, hacksawing, and twisting. Actually, these pliers work pretty great in just yanking the bolt until finally it just got cut through enough and loosen enough that it came out. I don't know if you can see this in there, but uh, I can move it. This thing will come right off. Um, of course, there is still, like I was saying, there's another nut down there, so that's going to be a whole other issue of dealing with. I'll probably, and this thread's pretty much stripped, so I don't know how I'm going to get that other nut off, but even with a reciprocating saw, it's probably still the method what I had to do. Um, so now there's only one left to get off. Hopefully that'll go a little easier. I'll have a little bit more wiggle room um, Being able to move this and all sometimes it's hard to get the blade in the in the little crack there And you're always afraid you're gonna smash the porcelain especially when you're hammering it uh, But one down one to go uh, Like I said probably not the probably a smarter way to do this, but When you're keeping it janky uh, Sometimes you gotta just uh, use good old fashioned spit shine and muscle and tear it out. Alright, well, I guess the, for whatever reason, the WD 40 loosened the threads up and I was able to get that one right off, which is great. Only it, uh, 
four minutes on the GoPro, so you split the difference, it's still not bad uh, on the average there. And it's two bags, I like to sort of preserve the original hardware if I can, put them back together with the original hardware, but that's not going to happen now. But honestly, I probably should have switched it up anyways, just because it's corroded and whatnot. So, uh, but here we have it. Beautiful tank there. Um, and uh, there's the, uh, I'll set that down. We still got to deal with this, um, this bolt right here, which hopefully I can just unthread it from right there. Definitely was doing some some good uh, hacks on there, creating a lot of friction. The bolt was smoking at one point. But, uh, so, tank's off, seat's off. Uh, next step is to, well, get this one bolt off and then take away the uh, internal hardware, take off the flusher. Sometimes that's actually kind of difficult. Um, and get her in the tub and get her all washed up and get it ready for priming. So that's always, I had to do that once before the hacksaw. It's the biggest uh, pain in the ass there is. So sort of um, washing, it's not too great either, but we're definitely over the hump. We got it in the house off the road. Um, so now comes the fun part. Okay, welcome back to Jenkins Painting. You might be able to hear the uh, wonderful, beautiful musical stylings of Diamond Dave right now. I kind of hope that comes through. It's very nice. Um, so, this is the final step here. This is the priming. We have the toilet bowl cleaned. It's beautiful. It's nice. Um, and um, I'm going to tell you real quick the primer I use just for anyone out there. It's, it's by Insulix, it's called Styx. It's a relatively new uh, product. It's a urethane acrylic waterborne bonding primer. Now what they say, and I'm not sure the chemistry exactly, but this is a, an acrylic basic cleanup of water and soapy water, wire brush, um, but it mimics the sort of um, properties of an oil paint. When oil paint just, you know, sort of adheres better, um, is a little more, um, just a little bit more durable and heavy duty. That's its reputation. So, um, we've got a little cup of paint here. We're gonna just apply that. You don't need to apply it super thick. They actually say that if it's, it's got a little bit of skips and stuff in it, it's just fine. But it, what it does is bond to this. So you're basically putting this protective layer of the ceramic. Ceramic is, is um, almost impossible to paint on. It's just, it's slippery, there's no porousness for anything to adhere to um, very hard material to paint so um, a bonding primer is really really necessary if you want to get any sort of glimpse at adhesion 
um, which obviously we want as much as possible because we want these things to hold up and um, be, you know, um, beautiful objects for a long time to come. Uh, so, that will be the final step, and then uh, finally the toilet will be ready to be um, painted in a beautiful, glorious manner. And um, I do have a very specific plan for this one, which I'm really excited about. Um, that video will be coming up. Um, it has to do with basketball. I'll give you a little hint. Um, so, uh, we're going to prime this now, and that'll be the final step. And um, stay tuned for uh, its, its um, flourishment from a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. And until then, enjoy uh, Diamond Dave's beautiful guitar riffs. All right, janky do thanky. This Johnny's got all the And this Johnny is a really good dance. Is why uh, the right size, um, fuck do you call that thing? Uh, if I had the 